This is the bit we were looking at yesterday. Well, there's several bits. It's upside down at the moment. Um, this is a drawing of it, I don't know if it helps. So yesterday we sort of looked at this. The, uh, the balloon would be up here, propeller down here. Um, we've just been welding it up. So basically we, we cut all the bits to size, uh, then they were all prepped. So you sort of, you file down, file down a corner, put a chamfer on it, so there's a bit more area for the weld to go into. Then you brush it with a steel, with a, yeah, a stainless steel brush to take the oxide layer off. And then we give it to Andy the welder, who does an absolutely amazing job. Aluminium is a really, really difficult thing to weld because, because it's got a lower mel melting temperature than steel um, and it's got a really hard oxide layer on. If you, try and, if you try and do it, there's a good chance you'll sort of, nothing will happen and then you'll blow through chunks of it. It's, it's a highly skilled, highly skilled job and far beyond, far beyond the um, capacity of us lowly students. Uh, they're strong as well. We got Andy, he, um, he welded us up a little test piece sort of this but scaled down to maybe that size. Uh, we tried to test it to destruction but at about four tonnes the machine ran out of give so as a safety precaution. The welds are very strong. Uh, it's, ab it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's so nice to see sort of big bits start to come together and once we have this we can start putting the gearbox on and putting the vectoring system on and it all, st it all starts coming together. It's, it's so rewarding to see it all.